I'm at the time in my life where all my friends are trying to flex on their charcuterie making chops, but the end result is almost some, almost always some played out version of the same one. Everyone uses princes, brie, salami, the barico, fig jam, etc. What are some high risk, high reward tips from the pro herself? I should be in, experimenting with come end of quarantine. Love the pod. Thanks. Um, so I, I posted a quarantine cheese board like a week ago or what felt like a week ago. It could have been yesterday. Who knows at this point, uh, that was just like literally cheese and meat on a plate that I didn't even attempt to like make it look good. Cause at that point it was literally just a vehicle of like food into my mouth. Like I didn't care, but still look good. It's, it was it tasted great. It's going to be a little harder. If you're not trying, I mean, the grocery stores are still open, so you can still like get some charcuterie cheese meat board accoutrements, if you will. Uh, <laughs> accoutrements. Accoutrements. Was a, a Lily suggestion that was actually, we had a couple times in Breck, is the goat cheese. It's just normal goat cheese. And then the um, Ooh, hot so chili crunch oil from uh trader joe's and you mix them together and it like absolutely spicy goat cheese like paste Egg. almost like yeah chili. delightful uh another sally knows this another trader joe's find game changer you cannot have a cheese board without it is the hot pepper jelly jam mm. i'm sure other places have it but trader joe's is, is phenomenal I I think with any type of cooter, you want to have mix. <laughs> well, you not call it a cooter. No. Oh, oh my man. god! <laughs> no. Do well, you know we're cooting it up, and then no. <laughs> stop saying cooter. Ew. I think with any cooter, you gotta have mixed yeah. textures. So you want to obviously have the cheese and the crackers. That's where you want to start to get a little fancy with the textures. So make your own goat cheese oil stuff dip, have some jelly, have some almonds, have some mustard seed. You really want to mix the texture. You don't just want cheese and crackers. Am I uh, right? Yeah. Whole grain yep. mustard, I feel like is, is a good touch. Mustard seeds. I think uh, quarantine is just a time for charcuterie. <laughs> all of this is great. The, the, the thing is at this point, there's nothing like unexpected. You're going to come up with where people are going to be like, wow. That's novel on a charcuterie board, <laughs> but it's how you mix things up. You know, it's the presentation. I think fruit is always a nice unexpected touch, like grapes or like wedges of oranges or like any strawberries even. That's always nice. Like just a lot of variety, I think, and the presentation are what makes for a good board. In my yeah, opinion. you want to have some sweet, some salt, some spicy. I also will say a... High risk, but high reward is maybe throw a baked type of cheese in there. Put put some croissant rolls yeah. around a brie and put it in the oven. That's, yes. That is dedication. Yeah. This all what sounds is real good. Uh, June's does broiled brie, right? Are they doing broiled brie? They do a broiled brie. Yeah, it's delightful. You can order it to go if you're in the Austin, Texas area and bring it to your place and broil it yourself. Maybe we should get that tonight. Oh, wow. And put that on a cheese board and... Play it off like you made it yourself. Nice yeah, move, much Will. Much support local businesses. I think that we could do it much cheaper than what we would get it there. And so I think we would be better off spending our money there on some other food items. Wow, thanks <laughs> for the tip, Will. Okay. Thank you for the tip. Not spons. Uh, What's your favorite charcuterie board edition? Like, what do you always go for? It can be basic. Right. Mine's the pepper jelly jam. I mean, you put that on any type of cheese and cracker and you are in for a treat. I think I like agree, Sally. Yeah, I really like that too, Lily. Something else that I really like to put on is a honey. I know that's yeah. kind of basic, Ooh. but I love honey because it's good Especially on meat. Like the honeycomb, the like actual honeycomb with like a little crunchy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a high risk, high reward. I love that's honey. That's a good one. Uh, Will and I actually, this is some free spawn for American Spoon, Michigan made. Uh, it's like a preserves company that we always use this um, apple onion jam, but they made this portobello mushroom jam that we had the other day. It was so good. Like all of their stuff is amazing. It's 
like we always get it as gifts from Will's parents. And so this year we got like what we normally do. They have like a pepper jelly thing too. That's a lot spicier than the Trader Joe's one, but uh, the portobello relish or whatever it was called was so good and very unexpected. Well, very is this from that same place where you get the uh, French onion mixed up? Cause that is a delight. You should send that out to the fans. Was it Sally? No, I wasn't paying attention. I was reading this, about uh, the French onion <laughs> dip mix is from a different place. Oh yeah. That's, oh, yeah. Uh, that's I was going to say, and don't feel free. It doesn't have to be like, like you could do some French onion dip and chips as part of your charcuterie board. There are no rules. You can have whatever you could put spinach or artichoke dip on there if you want to and really mix it up. It can, it's just more of an appetizer tray at that point, but it's still a nice surprise. <laughs> what, about going, what about just going to a, uh, like the, the section of the grocery store that has all the olives and pickled vegetables and things like that. And just going crazy. I think that's, oh, a yeah. mm. that's going to, mm. that's going to slice up your board every single time. And you can usually get away with getting out of there pretty cheap. If you are frugal about what you get. I love a right. pickled. Mm -hmm. Blonde yeah. The little pickles baby. that they've got at, at June's. Oof. Cornichons. Oh, the cornichons. Yes. Oh. I think one more thing to say is when you're, Picking the cheeses, the reason that everyone ends up with the same ones is because you should go in there thinking like, okay, I'm going to get a creamy one. I'll get more of like a, you know, hard kind of cheddar or something. So do that, but just do it with different ones. So creamy rather than get brie, maybe get the goat cheese and try the onion. I mean, the oil. Go blue. Go crazy. That's go very blue. Cool. Sally is a big fan of getting regular old cheeses like sharp, but like fun ones like caramelized onion, sharp cheddar, because then no one's doing that. So you're getting all different flavors. It's a great mix. Sally knows cheese boards. So I would take that recommendation and run with it. 